Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. And today we're going to transfer this one into self-portrait pot. Um, this is the first actual uh, Paphiopilium I have. Slipper Arcade. <laughs> um, however you want to call it. And um, I think it's a beautiful one. It's a very strange shaped blooms these guys have and I really like these longer and I know there's a word for it but I, I don't know it from the top of my head but I really like the uh, shape of the blooms and um, yeah very strange I think but nice so yeah let's uh, first start on putting this and and let's see what we have in the pot it's a fairly big arcade but maybe there are more um, in one pot or probably it's one one big plant I have no idea but let's figure out and I'm going to zoom a little bit out I'm sorry wrong way this way so um, we can have a clear look at what is going on in this pot it's a fairly big pot but the plant is also big one target I have no idea we are uh, going to find out we have some uh, slow release fertilizer in here Yeah, I'm going to uh, take the rest of it uh, under the sink, but it's very, uh, those roots are very delicate, so I try to rinse out as much media as I can. And uh, when I'm done, I will be back and we will have a, another look at our root system. I did uh, rinse it under the tap, as you can see it's still dripping. And we do uh, have uh, some roots. For this size plant, it could have probably a few more. But I think it's doing okay, I'm not completely sure. I, this is the first one, Paphiopedalum, that I have. Um, yeah, I like to refer to them as slipper orchids, but I, uh, Paphiopedalum is, I think, the right name for this orchid. But I don't have an uh, uh, ID for it. So, But we have fairly some uh, new growth here, so I. And expecting some new roots to come in quite soon, and I think we have a few here with green uh, green root tips or oh, lighter. I don't know if it's green. Yeah, I think it's green. But um, I think I'm going to leave it like this. There is some media, but there's a lot of roots as well. And if I'm going to tear them all apart, I don't know if I will do uh, that much good. And I think it will be okay. In the self-watering, there is some media left, but I, like I said, I think it will uh, will do fine. Yes, well, I could, there is a little bit media that can go between the bulbs. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. We have a very young new growth there, a little green tip. So fairly a, quite a, a number of new growths because this is a new growth, this is one, here and here, and this one as well, there, and another one next to it, one here, still growing. So yeah, seven, eight new growths I think. So that's beautiful of course. Yeah, I'm a bit afraid to uh, to have a look. Yeah, I see to uh, check the rhizome. If I pull them uh, like this, I probably it may be more plants. I think it are more plants, but if it isn't, I will break the rhizome. So, and I'm not going to pot them up separately. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not sure if it uh, if it are more plants, 
probably are. But I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't want to do any more damage than I already are doing. And these uh, don't like the repottings uh, as far as I know. So uh, I'm going to clean this up and then I will be back with a uh, with a clean media and a new setup for this plant. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I did grab my pots. I have this one. This is a uh, sort of container for something. It already has a handle, this, so I don't need uh, the cable tie and my uh, pots that I like. The ALO pots. And this one uh, fits uh, very beautiful in it. It's a 60 centimeter pot. And I did uh, I did burn some holes in the pot, so we have the water can uh, go out, and uh, that's it. I don't think I uh, need any more ventilation holes for this one. I have the Cintiq, and I put a Cintiq, layer of Cintiq first in with, of course, my water meter. So those will cover up the holes a little bit before I do uh, just put in some small pumice. Here it is for those who wants, really wants to see it. This is the Cintiq. Um, beautiful stuff. I really like it, but you need to le learn to work with it. It's just like a regular moss, organic moss. I, in the beginning, used too much for my Miltonias, and it's way too wet, even for self watering. It keeps so, it holds so many, much water. So, uh, I like to use it, but I always uh, mix it with, uh, in this case, small pumice. So I put in a layer of small pumice. And then I will grab a handful of Cintiq again. And I will try to put it underneath, um, underneath the root bulb here. So I don't have an air gap going on there. And then I will place my orchid in a pot, like this, slowly. So I'm sure that there is Cintiq uh, underneath those roots. Uh, where is this leaf? Here it is. So I have a uh, Cintiq plump of Cintiq, a uh, bulb of Cintiq, how do you want, want to call it, underneath those roots. And now I can fill up the orchid pot. I have still some Cintiq left a little bit, and I will grab some uh, Small pumice again, just with my smaller scoop. And I will fill around now with the, uh, with the pumice. And that leaf is in a way. There you go. So, let me see. Some room there. Try to keep it in the middle of the pot because of all those new growths in basically every direction. big hole there so I can use a little bit more media to cover that hole up. Maybe I should take it out now. So we can see the pot. I'm sorry guys I didn't relight it. But this is a bit more nicer view to watch I think. So I try to get rid of the air holes. This, these plants do not need much air. Probably prefer no and uh, yeah, very less air. Let's put it like that. So I try to fill up the pot completely and push it down a little bit here and there. So I, uh, like I said, I don't create uh, air holes. A little bit Cintiq. I notice that these type of orchids. Well, actually, I don't have a uh, a Pefio Pefio I always. They always confuse me. Uh, Paphiopelum and uh, Paphiopilium. I think this is the Paphiopilium, if I pronounce it correctly. Um, I always uh, call them uh, slipper orchids, uh, but technically those are both slipper orchids. 
as far as I know. So that is not completely correct. Uh, if I pronounce both of them. I I've only uh, called this a slipper orchid. But anyhow, I do not have an idea for this one. ID. Let me... push in a little bit more of this uh, synthetic. But what I uh, was trying to say is that my Cafeo Pedlams do uh, like uh, the synthetic as well. So I assume that this one will do like it too. So therefore I put a little extra layer of synth uh, yeah, synthetic in. look. Um, I hope you can see this. Yes. I don't see... yeah, just a little bit here on the synthetic, but it's okay. A little bit uh, of an air hole there. Not much. Oh. So, this is, uh, this is good to go. Well, almost. I want to put a few uh, pebbles on top. So, let me grab... Scoop. Oops. One pedal on the floor. a piece of plumbers. <laughs> so no purple there, but I'll uh, find, we'll find it later. So I will uh, give this a rinse, a, uh, a flush I should say, and then uh, we will have a last look at this beautiful orchid. And there we are again. It's now completely nicely <laughs> potted up with a beautiful outer pot as well. And let me adjust the camera a little bit so we have a little bit more focus on the bloom, and I think this is not uh, for long for this world anymore, uh, due to the repot as well, but it also is, has a bit of dark color going on there, so I think it's almost done. And I'm just going to call this my slipper orchid, uh, because that's the easiest for me. <laughs> um, and technically that's right, but if you have, if you uh, recognize it, if you have the uh, Think you uh, found the idea or you know the idea please let me know as always I would like to know it but um, beautiful beautiful I like those green dots there as well in the middle of the the lip and then we have the more red dots as well let me try to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better uh, I always struggle with sway uh, let me move the plant a little bit like this. Yeah, I think you can see it already. Oops, sorry. I hope you can see it. Those beautiful green ones and then we have some red ones. It's an almost mustache <laughs> going on there. It's very hairy. Very dark purple as you can see. Beautiful. It really looks like a mustache to me. So yeah. Beautiful orchid. Very strange looking one. 
it's a little bit shy as we can see <laughs> so let's move zoom out again and uh, so yeah this is it this is how I uh, try at least to transfer a slipper orchid in cell watering this is my first one so I never did it before but I will uh, do it the same as my uh, as I did with my Puffy petalums and those are really doing well so I think it should be okay so this is it for this video this was also uh, one of my uh, last haul from Landsbergen so if I don't forget I will put a link in oh I'm sorry that didn't help but uh, there was where I found this beauty so guys thank you for watching if you have any questions suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and for now I hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye